everyone. Welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in the last session, so we had discussed so what is a variable and what is a function. So, these two are the main building blocks to develop application. So, to write a program. Now, we will see how many uh, classifications right of a method. So, generally only four method classifications are present. So, whatever the programming language you take. So, this is not only for C language, C, C++, Java, .NET, wherever you go, any textbook you open, right, any program you see. If you look at one particular method or one particular function, the function belongs to any one of these four classifications. The first one, no arguments, no arguments and no return values function. Second one, with arguments and no return values function. Third one, with arguments and with return values function. And the last one, no arguments and with return values function. These are the four classifications available for a method. So, before so discussing all these four classifications, so first we need to remember once again what is a function. A function is a set of instructions, it is taking input, arguments is called input, arguments is called input. After processing the input, after processing the information, right, it will produce that output, that return value we can call it as a output. A function is a block of instructions, is taking input technically arguments and after that it is processing that input using the predefined logic. After processing it will produce that output. So, depends on the method syntax only. So, now we will discuss all these four classifications. Okay, see four classifications. Here, the first one we are writing no args and no return values is the first classification. Second one with args and no return values. Third one with args with return values. And the last one no args and with return values, no args and with return values. See the classification. First classification, no args and no return values. I am writing one function, just function name I am taking fun. It is a block of instructions we already discussed. Here you will write the logic. The function logic we need to place inside this block, any logic you can write. The function is taking input is nothing but arguments. Here it is, this is arguments place and this is a return values place. But here it is, what is our classification? No arguments. So, here it is, we need to write a no arguments and no return values. And here also we are writing no. But here it is, instead of writing no, they have given one technical keyword in programming languages is called void void is representing no, nothing. So, no arguments and no return values function. A function is a block of instructions, is not taking any arguments and not returning anything to anyone. Next, come to that second classification with arguments, no return values. So, function with arguments, we need to pass some arguments we need to pass arguments. Sir, what are the arguments Some values? Integers, float, double, character, strings, all these are comes under input types. Simply, I am passing only one integer. To collect that, we are declaring one variable. This is called arguments. Look at the classification once with arguments. So, we need to pass arguments and next it will process that input with the predefined logic. And finally, it will return the output. Output is a void, 
because no return values. Look at the classification function is taking arguments with arguments, but it is not returning anything no return values is the classification second classification. Now, come to the third classification with arguments and uh, with return values classification a function function is taking arguments with arguments here it is suppose we are passing character any arguments we can pass sir how many arguments we can pass no limitations hundreds of hundreds of arguments we can pass depends on your application requirement so here it is simply i am passing only one argument character and here with return values so return statement mandatory suppose i am returning 13 13 is of type what is an integer type so return type is a integer the function with arguments so here it is taking arguments what type arguments it is taking no matter first it is taking arguments or not that we have to consider so here it is is taking arguments and next what it is returning integer data it is returning with return values means return statement is compulsory it is mandatory to define so return statement 13 it is returning 13 is of what type of data integer data so return type is also integer and next the last classification no arguments and uh, with return values no arguments and with return values see here now fun no arguments means void we need to write void with return values what it is returning suppose here it is returning the value 34.56 34.56 is of type uh, float type or double type so here it is a return type is also float type so classification no arguments and uh, with return values only four classifications are present for a function or method these four classifications very easy to understand in every program from day one to day end right in every program we always define any one of these four methods only in any programming language so that much important four classifications clearly we can understand first one is a a function with a no arguments and no return values no means a void we are writing no arguments no return values second classification is a with arguments and no return values it is taking arguments but not returning anything third classification is with arguments and with return values is taking character and it is returning integer sir here it is is taking character why it is returning integer sir there is no such restriction that what type of data it is taking it has to return the same type of data for example take a withdraw operation withdraw operation means input is a just pin number and how much amount you want to withdraw but output is a amount money but take a deposit function input is a money and output is just a receipt so there is no relation between input and output okay any function right can take different types of inputs and other types of outputs and the last classification is the function is not taking anything so return means what arguments type is a void and uh, returning is a float type decimal value it is returning so float type so these are the four classifications so in our previous discussions it is clear that only definitions are present no use if functionality is there someone should call that functionality for example take this marker what is its functionality it is writing but will it write automatically no it will not write someone should access this functionality i am the person i am accessing this functionality so if only functionality is there no use someone should call from another place take the mobile so mobile is having so much functionality calling is one functionality best example will it call automatically no from another place some other person should call explicitly in the same way every function should have a definition 
along with the definition function call is also very very important. If function call is not there right no use of definition. If no one is using this markers functionality what is the use of this marker no use in the same way. So, here sir how to call a function here it is a four classifications are there right in four different ways we can call the functions how we will see again one by one ok see here it is how to call functions depends on the classification we are calling first function calling see function calling is always a single statement single statement means must ends with a semicolon. Suppose if you take uh, this function so this is what we question here it is no semicolon right here it is a open brace and close brace function definition means a block of instructions how many instructions are thousands of thousands of instructions you can write no limitations. But function call is always a single statement that ends with a semicolon everything right here it is whenever you call this function is it expecting anything is it taking any input no. So, no need to pass anything here it is empty is it giving anything no it is not returning anything. So, here also it is also empty the function is not taking any input. So, no need to pass any input and it is not giving anything. So, no need to get anything is the first one and next come to that second one function function and now what it is expecting the function definition is expecting an integer. So, you have to pass integer suppose if you want to perform deposit operation the bank personnel will expect some amount of money from you. So, that you have to pass so then only they can process that information. So, here it is whenever you call this function it is expecting integer. So, you have to pass that integer any integer you can pass suppose simply 10 I am passing 10 is an integer. So, that will go and store into x now x value 10 right then it will process the 10, but is it giving anything no it is not giving anything. So, no need to collect anything and next come to the third one function now what it is expecting it is expecting a character in any programming language we will represent characters using single quotes right. So, here it is if you want to pass character any character you can pass a special symbol also you can pass, but we must place inside a single quotes suppose g I am passing right here it is we are placing in a single quotes. So, then whenever you call this function that g will go and store into variable x this is the value it will hold input is over. Now, it is giving output output 13 it is giving 13 we should collect into another variable or you can take a same variable also no problem, but type is very very important what type it is returning is very very important right here it is returning 13 13 is of type integer type. So, we are collecting that result into integer type variable only for assignment operator always right side data executes first. So, right side data we are calling the function and we are passing the input character that character will go and store here and it is returning something sir what type it is returning integer it is returning that integer data we are collecting into x x is of type integer because return type is integer and next the fourth classification. Suppose here we are calling the function fun is it expecting anything no type is a white type. So, no need to pass anything to anyone, but here it is we can expect something because it is returning a type 34.56 of type what float type. So, we should collect that into a variable of type of float type whether you are passing some values and someone is giving some output that we should collect into a variable, but here it is we need to declare a variable of type what that is depends on the return type and here it is it is expecting character. So, you have to pass character value only and it is giving 13 13 is an integer. So, you should collect into integer variable only here it is giving a float value. So, we are collecting into float type only 
here it is expecting integer value. So, here it is we are passing integer only. So, here it is a four classifications are present. For every classification, how to write the definition and how to call that function is clearly discussed. Only these four classifications available for every function remember. Only four classifications, not only for C language. In any programming language, if you want to define a method, you can define using any one of these four classifications only. So, that much important. If you are perfect at all these four classifications, then we can start programming. So, here it is in the next session, we will see how to write a first C application. Thank you. So, thank you for watching and for more videos, subscribe here. Thank you.